Okay, here's a table that just compares all three methods. So under FIFO, units sold includes the oldest costs. We always start from earlier transactions, then to later ones. And therefore, if the unit sold is oldest, what's left would be the newest cost. Okay, LIFO would be the, exactly the opposite. Units sold, we start from recent cost. So ending inventory included on balance sheet will be the older costs. Okay, average cost is always, we're constantly averaging out a unit cost, so the numbers is not from the oldest or newest, it's actually somewhere in the middle. So you see the, this number is in the middle of these two. This number, the value is also in the middle of these two. You know, some of the benefits of using these methods, if FIFO has the oldest cost for a cost of goods sold expense, and in the case that the purchase prices in different transactions is constantly rising, probably just incrementally a little bit, under this case, if we use FIFO, always cost of goods sold expense is the oldest, which means it's the least, and this at the end will lead to a higher net income amount. Okay, if expense is the least, oldest cost, and in case there is inflation, the cost is constantly rising, then using FIFO method compared to companies that uses LIFO, you will have a higher net income amount. Okay, so this is an example. If we're making sales using all three different costing methods, sales transactions, let's say the retail price is 320 for all three cases. If we use different methods, we use cost of goods sold, uh, expense using FIFO method, you will see cost of goods sold expense is the least for FIFO and the highest for LIFO because in the case of rising prices, LIFO always picks the highest cost first. FIFO picks the least earlier cost first. Okay, so this will lead to a different amount of gross profit. Under FIFO, you see that since cost is the least, gross profit will be the highest. Under LIFO, since cost is the highest, cost profit will be the least. Okay, average cost is always somewhere in the middle of those two. So there are some of the advantages that leads corporations sometimes to want to use a specific type of method. All three methods are allowed under GAAP, and they're generally accepted accounting principles. Okay, but the advantage for using FIFO is that you seem to have a higher gross profit showed on the statements. Okay, so this could likely attract more investors. You may have a better uh, borrow terms if you want to borrow money from creditors. Under LIFO, the advantage is that since gross profit is the least when it comes to taxes, you will also be paying the least taxes compared to using FIFO. So in the case that this season, if company wants to reserve or conserve some of the cash in the season, if they think their operations is more tight, they may decide to use LIFO in terms of inventory costing to save some money. <coughs> Okay, so there are benefits 